good morning you guys I am like shocked <laughs> I'm trying to finish decorating for Christmas because I didn't finish yesterday and I want to try to get it all done um, and get like the bins that we store everything in back out to storage <laughs> and my security guy just called and was like um you have a lot of packages here I was like picturing like four or five and I was like all right I'll be right out this <laughs> is what we're dealing with I mean how insane now one of those the really big one is a rowing machine I got that for Don as an early Christmas gift because he has really suffered this year not being able to go into the gym um, our gyms have been closed for about eight months now and actually longer than that because our first lockdown was in March gyms were allowed to open in July and then they closed them again in August. And in July, they could only let one person in at a time. So yeah, he's suffering. Um, I was just saying on Insta stories, he can't wait to have like the smell of a sweaty gym again. <laughs> but so I am giving him this rower as like hopefully something that he'll use to hold him over. Right now he has like really big free weights. They're like 80 pounds each out on the lanai. And it's a little bit limited what you can do with that. Um, he can do like his curls and then these things, you know, all of that stuff. But because we don't have a bench or anything for him to lie on to get his shoulders down low enough, I don't even know what I'm talking about. He does, he's like super into bodybuilding. But anyways, I'm hoping the rower will help because they said a rower works 87% of your body's muscles even in your legs and your butt. I didn't know that and your core. And they were showing like all the way down your legs, it works. I didn't know that. I was very interested to find that out or shocked to find that out. But today I thought I would finish decorating for Christmas and then I think I'm gonna end up having to go through all these packages with you guys and see what's in all these packages. So yeah. Anywho, so now that we have that up, I feel like the living room is officially done. I'm not going like crazy, crazy, crazy like I did last year in here. I feel like the brightness on this camera is very bright. Um, but I still need to do the entryway, the bathrooms, and the bedrooms. But some of this stuff I can go ahead and start packing up to take back out to storage, thank God, because it is a bit much in here. So we are gonna go through these packages so that then I can get rid of all this packaging and make my living room look better again. Some of these, as I go through and I open them and I'm like, oh, this is a Christmas present for someone that I know watches my videos. I'm not going to show it on camera <laughs> um, because then they'll see what they're getting. Okay, so the first thing I have is some ribbon. I bought a couple different styles because I am going OTT on my wrapping this year. I've decided that I love wrapping. It brings me so much joy. And I want to be able to make it like more personalized. Oh my God, they threw in the cutest gift tag. It's like embossed. How amazing is that? Okay, so these are the first three. One has little Christmas trees. Is it gonna focus? The other one says Noel. And then the bottom green one, this one here, is shaped like actual Christmas trees. And I think it's so, so cute. Let's see if it'll focus, yeah. And then I got some traditional plaid because you can't go wrong with that. I got a black and white plaid and then a green. I absolutely love this gift tag. Totally gonna be using that. I feel like all of this is going to end up being wrapping paper. Oh, yay! Um, I got a new pop socket. Ooh, this one's so much nicer than my old one because my old one broke, so I had to get a new one. And she threw in the grip on the back. Normally, they don't come with the grip, 
and um, she added it in so that's what's in here I will actually link the girls Etsy store a lot of this stuff by the way is from Etsy but I will link her store down below because she has so many to choose from and I absolutely love these the reason my last one broke is because I literally chucked my phone across the room but not intentionally I was like trying to carry stuff and my phone was on the box and it just went and just caught too much speed <laughs> Oh, this is more stuff for wrapping. So I really wanted to put dried oranges and dried limes on my Christmas gifts this year. This store, this is a dried orange, by the way. Um, smells so good. Smells like Christmas. This store actually sold out. They only had one left. I tried to get like 10, um, but they only had one left. So I had to just take the one. I did get 10 limes though, but I'm going to try to go back on their store and order a couple more oranges because um, I want to put this on the wrapping. Oh my gosh, this is so heavy. What is in here? video <laughs> okay this says lush I actually know what this is it is my advent calendar I this year I was like oh I'm not gonna do advent calendars but then I was like I have to I do advent calendars every single year it's rude not to so I got three um I got a lush one glossy box one and a what's that name chocolate there's lint chocolate one all right this came with a free daddy cream dream shower daddy creamy it's d-a-t-y daddy creamy dreamy shower cream and then chuck that to the side this is what the Lush Advent Calendar looks like. I am very, very excited. Let's... Um, oh. Well, that's boring. You open it and it's like got the individual boxes. I'll show you. But kind of boring. So I was really hoping that it was like doors that you would open. Anywho. Okay, it looks cute again. Oh, let's see what this is. Something from Amazon. Oh, this is for my hair. It's the Philip Kingsley um, purple. <gasps> There's purple leaking in here, so we're not going to open it. Pure Blonde Booster, because, you know, it needs it. But I can see on the packaging there's blonde in there, so not opening that. Um, I, this year my family and I are really trying to focus on ordering from small businesses, which is why I got as much of the wrapping and the ribbon I could find on Etsy. Um, cause those stores are small businesses in general are really hurting this year. <gasps> okay. So I see some little limes and cut oranges. <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay. So more wrapping this smells absolutely effing divine so i got blood oranges regular oranges and grapefruit slices again to put on my wrapping the blood oranges are gorgeous i absolutely love them so are the grapefruits who would have thought to use grapefruit but it just looks so good okay sorry if the lighting has changed <coughs> <clears throat> they're cleaning their lanai outside next door and they're using bleach it's very strong my limes that's what they look like nice little limeys
Oh yeah, this is more ribbon. Oh, really love. Let's see. Stop moving away. There we go. Really love all the Christmas tree ribbon this year. Mm. <laughs> I, I got some scented pine cones to put on with the oranges and stuff, but um, they looked much smaller in, look at, that's one pine cone. <laughs> looked much smaller online here's another one they have a couple small like here i'm just taken aback but they do smell what are these cinnamon scented pine cones they smell amazing oh and this is the other advent calendar Oh my gosh, it's so heavy. But also, so pretty. I don't know if you guys can see like all the gold foil. So, so pretty. Let's see, how does this, oh, it's magnetic. And this is what it looks like inside. And then it's got the drawers you pull out with the days on there. Very excited for that. That can also go under the tree. Ooh. Okay, the king's moment. Oh, I found these. I thought this was really cool. It's like um, muslin ribbons. And I thought this would be really nice. So I went with the nude pinky set because I just thought it was so pretty. This is like a ballet pink right here. Some more ribbons. These ones I got just natural twine. Um, <laughs> and if you could see it, hopefully you did because it just rolled somewhere. Natural twine and then gold and red or red and green with gold flicks in it. And then had to get a white with gold as well. I thought this would be really fun. It's like a velvet green, but that emerald I just really love. Emerald green is one of Dawn's favorite colors, so that's why I got that. And then lots of little ones for making bows. As well as lots of big ones for making bows. Oh, I guess I should do it this way. Lots of big ones for making bows. These I'm obsessed with. So basically, they're like gift tags, but they look like, like stamps from the North Pole. And I just thought it was so cute and so neat and so creative. People on Etsy are insanely creative. And then the last thing is some more ribbons. This is just a pure red. And then we have like a red and green with bits of gold. And this is just red, green, and bits of yellow. There is a blue in there as well. I feel like there's a pin. Oh, that's the wire. And then just natural as well. The wrapping paper I picked out this year is like craft paper with um, like stamps on it. And I thought it was really cute. So that's why I went with that. This oh, and then I thought for gift tags this year, what would be fun is to get these little wooden cutouts and put their name on it. These are technically ornament cutouts, but like this is supposed to be a snowman. You would like paint it and then paint their name on there. Zoom it in. And I just thought that would be really creative and it just makes for like a fun craft night because you know, we can't go do anything Christmassy, so why not? If you could just 
see the destruction. Okay, so I've essentially got everything that I'm gonna do in the living room done. I don't think I'm gonna put lights on the mirror over there, or the mirror over there, um, the mirror over there, or the mirror over there. Uh, just because I did that last year and I felt like it was a bit much, um, especially because we now have the lights back there. So I think I'm done in this room, which makes me very, very happy. I can put all this away and then start dealing with this rower. I'm actually really excited for the rower because I want to use it too. <laughs> um, that's kind of like my thought behind it. I was like, it's a gift for both of us. So yeah, I'm going to finish. I'm not going to put any more of this stuff on the tree because I feel like my trees get too busy and Don agrees. If Don had it his way, he wouldn't put anything else, like anything on the tree. He would just do a fake tree with lights. <laughs> I do all the animals in the world. I even have like little sheep and owls and all of that. So yeah, I think it looks nice. Yeah, looks a tad bit thin because I didn't finish fluffing it. Honestly, I couldn't be bothered. I was like, it's up two weeks earlier than normal. It'll fluff out on its own. It'll start to fall. <laughs> so, all right, I'm gonna finish packing everything up and get ready to take it to storage. I'm gonna be decorating this room. I've got Louis blankets all balled up there. Need to be taken out and cleaned. My pajamas, all that stuff. And there's baby under bed. There's a baby under bed. And I need to do something with my pile of books because I've only made it through two and I don't need them there all Christmas long. <laughs> Liquid eyeliner, black noir.
Oh my gosh, that's so satisfying, that feeling. Oh, I love it. This pen is like a really nice tip. So satisfying. Oh my gosh, you guys can't even see it. I'm so sorry, it's so dark. The joys of waking up early. And it's just trying to focus on the tree because it's so nice. 